Crisis Radio. This is Webster Tarsley reporting once again this week from Hamburg, Germany. However, we want to keep up with the question of the constitutional disqualification of the demagogue Obama. When you look at this tremendous damage being done, um, this is not, of course, Obama's immediate uh, kind of uh, work that he does, but uh, it's being done under his administration. He could presumably stop it if he wanted to. So he's got to be held responsible for the massive destabilization of North Africa and this tremendous threat to uh, to civilization in this part of the world. So let's go quickly to Philadelphia and hear from our usual commentator on this, uh, the distinguished former uh, assistant attorney general of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, former Democratic candidate for governor, senator, former official of the Democratic Party, Phil Berg. Welcome, Phil. My pleasure. How are you today? Okay. A little bit uh, jet lag, but I'm okay. Well, uh, you were where? I'm over here in Hamburg, Germany, as I've been saying. Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay. Um, well, the world situation is going over right now, and um, you say, I, I believe you stated that there's really no policy of this administration, and I think that... Oh, it is. Uh, it's, uh, just, it's just the CIA doing it. In other words, Obama reacts to what the CIA does, <laughs> like that. But um, there's real turmoil, and uh, we've got real problems. But the bigger problem we have is, and one of these days, one of these foreign leaders is going to come out with it, is the fact that... Obama is a fraud, a phony, an imposter, biggest hoax against the United States of America in our history. And we have to do something to stop this. And, and I am. Uh, unfortunately, I, I've been jammed up like you are, and I haven't had a chance to put up the, uh, the new uh, case, which we're going to file shortly. But we're going to file a uh, similar case that we filed before to a um, um, that uh, Obama is not only not natural born, he's not naturalized. Uh, he's really in the youthful alien. We really believe that completely, and uh, it, it's, it's outrageous what has transpired. And you know, he was of Obama, uh, not uh, making rational, not that he's doing anything rational decisions, but uh, here we have Obama, who's a, a phony. And uh, this is going to come back to haunt the United States of America. We'll have to do this because if not, we can have the whole Middle East turning into Muslim. Uh, I mean, let's – the facts are what the facts are, and that is, is uh, he's a Muslim. And I don't care what religion he is. That's not religion because he can be whatever religion he wants to be. But – when it hurts, you know, he can pray how he wants to in the White House. But when he does the things that he's doing, um, it's, it's not good for the United States. So when we are successful, everything he has done is will be changed because everything is void. Because it's void. He has no business being president under our Constitution. It's a shame that the judges, the same that the judges and the courts and the politicians have given Obama a free ride, and it's going to it's going to backfire on us. But the only good thing is when we can succeed with this, everything will stop. Now we're preparing several things on our website, which is ObamaCrimes.com, um, and I've been in court, so we're not completely up on everything. But one, we're going to go against Daryl Issa. Daryl Issa is the new head of the committee that has subpoena power, and he could resolve this in a couple of days by issuing a subpoena to Obama to come before the committee and bring with him all his records. Um, he has hidden everything for your listeners that have forgotten because it's going on so long. Obama has sealed all his records. Now, why would someone seal their college records? I believe they sealed the college records to show that he applied for and received foreign aid. He was saying he's from Kenya or from Indonesia, which is a much area because Indonesia is where he was adopted or acknowledged by his stepfather, Lolo Sotoro. So, and then at age 10, his mother sent him back to live with her parents. And, and we believe that he went back on his Indonesia passport and not on a United States passport. And therefore, he's not a U.S. citizen. People say a child cannot give up the right. There's some merit to that, but between the ages of 18 and 21, you would have to renew or request whatever status you had before, 
and there's no evidence that Obama did that. Therefore, Obama's name is really Barry Sotoro. That's his adopted or acknowledged name. That's his stepfather's name. We have the school record on our website, which says the uh, name is Barry Sotoro. <clears throat> we have photos of him under the name Sotoro. They have acknowledged that that was his name over there. And then we go into what his nationality is, and his nationality comes out as Indonesia, and his religion is Islam. I don't know what hold he has on everything. The only thing we really believe is that the powers that be in this country, and unfortunately that's the money people and not the politicians, went to Obama and said to Obama, we know, we know that Berg and others are right, <clears throat> that you are not constitutionally eligible to be president. If you play ball our way, if you play ball our way, we'll let you be president. So I think he's being told what to do, what to say on many occasions. And I think that's where, um, that's why he has the BlackBerry, which he has to have. Because, and the reason for that is all White House conversations are taped, are recorded. Um, that's how they got Nixon. They had a blank tape in there. They tried to erase some of it. But he has the BlackBerry, because I think that's where he gets his instructions from. Also, most of his speeches are for teleprompter, which means someone else is writing them, which, which is natural, which happens to other politicians at the time. But he's actually really told what to say. And he's told what to say because um, he's being blackmailed, at least internally, and possibly externally from others outside this country. And it's going to hurt us. It's hurting us. And so we're going to continue our efforts to expose And I say the... Um, we had filed before a False Claims Act. We're going to do another one. Once it's filed, it'll be sealed. But on that basis, we're saying he's not natural born, he's not naturalized, but he's an illegal alien, and therefore his salary and benefits he receives as U.S. Senator should be returned to U.S. Treasury. We're talking about a million dollars. Um, there's no evidence, there's no concrete evidence that he's natural born. They keep repeating one document, which is called a certification of live birth. And they keep going back to that. And uh, finally, Chris Matthews, or I'm not sure if he's attempting now to start the term of Obama, but Chris Matthews finally about a month ago stated that what he has been saying is the birth certificate all along is not a birth certificate. It actually is a uh, receipt for a birth certificate. And he was even asking now Obama to produce the birth, the long form for a birth certificate. So there's a change. There's so many people. The polls are showing that more and more people are questioning him. What your listeners have to realize, again, is the fact that the certification of live birth will not enable you to register, if your child has that, will not enable your child to be registered for Little League in the United States of America, and will not en enable that person with a certification of live birth to get a um, passport. So it really has no value, and what's on a birth certificate that's not on a certification of live birth is the length of the baby, the weight of the baby, the hospital name, the doctor's name, and more important, the doctor's signature. None of that appears on a certification by birth, which Obama's people keep on the birth certificate. Also significant is the fact that on our, we have Sarah Obama, uh, that's Obama's candidate. Um, she was in the hospital in Mombasa, Kenya, August 4, 1961, when Obama was born there. We also have the uh, number of councils now when Obama was born there. Well, I'm We're having some technical difficulties. I think you're breaking up. I know. Well, it, it sounds like for a while it's been breaking up, but uh, <laughs> I'll break away so you can do better there. And Okay, so thank you very much. And we're looking forward to that uh, false claims act suit. That's going to be a great thing. You hang in there. Back in a minute on World Crisis Radio.